Are we on? We're live. We're on. Hello, everyone. Hello. I'm Paul Tufnell, and I'm your quiz master for tonight. Oh, it's five minutes till we actually do the. Oh, we're not going yet. No, five minutes we start. Oh. But hopefully, people from the Lilies, anyone there, can they hear us? I thought we were going now. No, we've gone live. Let's just check. Yeah, we're live now. Yes, but the quiz doesn't start for five minutes. Oh, okay. Let's please for our quiz, please. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> just going to check whether they can hear us. Yeah, they can hear you. There's Paul, my cousin. Oh, look, we're all, see, we are live. We're ready yeah, to so go. Yeah, no, we're not ready for the quiz till five minutes. Everyone needs a little sure? paper. Yeah. Hello, Paul. How are you, mate? Nice to see you, Helen. Lovely. Everyone. You can hear him, yes? Yeah. All okay. Excellent. All right. Okay. Cheers, baby. Okay, cool. Look at this. Look. Look. Here we go. I've got the old bins on. Right, here we yeah, go. No, no, you're not starting until five, four, but seven forty-five precisely. Oh, okay. So you can chat to people there, but the actual oh, okay. quiz. I reckon you should do You're it. You're eager. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here. I have my I'm assistant Dawn with me tonight. So she shall be helping. Are we waiting till are we waiting till exactly? I should tell you exactly when. All right, okay. Well I might get yourself another beer. Hey, you can read these, I shall get your beer. Yes, you lovely to see everyone. Joe Joe's here. Hey, hi, <laughs> how are you? Nice to see you. Luke Sawbridge, Claire Jordan, lovely. Thanks for coming along on a Thursday for a pub quiz. Wouldn't it be lovely to be down the pub, eh? Oh, not long now, not long now, surely. Mm. I've been ordered by my wife, Dawn, my assistant, that um, we have to, thank you, um, go exactly at um, 7.45. So we will wait. Who else is coming in? Pauline Lake, hi, Phil, great Hello, to Paul. see you. Yes, Paul, hi, Dawn. That's Lo my cousin, Paul. Oh, that's Helen Ray. Hello, love, cousin, Paul. Love, love your kitchen. Lovely question, yes. That's very nice. Yes, well, it's very clean at the moment, that's for sure, because that's all I've been doing for the last bloody seven and a half weeks, I can assure you. But there you go. Who else is coming in? Uh, Steve Addison. Well done. Yes, uh, uh, Ian Phillips. Tough as can you give me, mate, Reese a shout-out? Hello, Reese. Nice to see you, mate. He was hoping get back average in a double figure <laughs> oh, jolly good yeah so 4.5 no better. he's what no yeah, i know he's... i know my mine was 4.5 so he's done better than me um ruth wilgris hello everyone found in norfolk lovely to see you all that's where my dad used to live swaffham swaffham it's swaffham in norfolk uh, emma wilson lovely verity brooks oh well there's loads joining in tonight let's be fair there's not else else to do, is there? I've watched the Arsenal versus Liverpool from 1974 and I can't take it anymore. So we're doing a nice little pub quiz. Donna Yule, hi. David Evans, thanks. Thank you all for joining. Liam Wells uh, in Wall Wallingham, not too far from us. Anna Foskett, jolly good. Right, are we nearly ready to go? We have a couple of minutes. Yes. You can have a little sip of your beer. Right, okay. And then we'll do a little bit of housekeeping, shall we? Just to let everyone know what's going on. Dawn cut my hair the other day, actually. It's done a bad job. It's a little bit boingy, but there you go. <laughs> it's a little bit bouffant. <laughs> Manky sausage. I love cricket. Nice to see you, mate. Uh, Jabber the gut from Ipswich. Who's that? Rona Scott. Big shout out to all the amazing doctors and nurses at the Cresta Clinic in Newcastle. Fantastic. We're going to be stopping later as well, at eight, at just a couple of minutes before eight o'clock, so we can all run outside and uh, do a lovely big clap for the Claire carers, for which we've been doing every week, which has been fantastic. Um, oh, I feel like a DJ. Yeah. I don't know, I feel like a DJ. Stuart Barr, bonjour, from Scotland. Carl Purse, uh, Michael Butt, Kat, thank you, for, uh, for Adelaide. Oh, for Adelaide, must have been in Adelaide. Yeah, lovely, all those were the days. Matt Bannister. In the house, and it's the crew in the house. Sweet. Uh, who's that? Stanley and Dee Dee. Stanley and Dee Dee. Lovely to have you on board. Right, shall we Shall we start yeah, thinking about get, getting shout going? Shout out to Grandma and Gramps. Who's this? Emma Wilson. Can you say hello to Grandma and Gramps from Cara and Zoe? 
grandma and gramps higher. Right, we're going to get started. Little, right, now, we all know why we're doing this, because due to the current situation, the Lilly Foundation have had to cancel all their events and fundraising races, etc., have been put on hold. Uh, this is quite devastating for a charity that relies on these funds. Tonight, we can all make a, a little bit of a difference. Uh, please donate, if you can, to help the charity to continue the great work that they do. Um, I got involved about uh, six years ago when a good friend of mine's daughter uh, was effective, and um, they really are fantastic people, and uh, they do some fantastic work. So, um, you know, just get involved if you can. Right, here we go. This is an old-fashioned pen and paper quiz. There are five rounds of eight questions. I will read eight questions per round, giving you time between each question to discuss the answer. Probably about 20 or 30 seconds, I reckon. Once I have read the eight questions, I will give you the answers. If I haven't had too many beers by then, but hey ho. Uh, we, uh, we will be typing the questions into the chat in case you miss any, but please do not write your questions, uh, your answers in the chat, because that would be a bit silly, I suppose. At the end of the quiz, total up your scores, and if you want to submit your scores, there is a link in the description below, or somewhere, wherever that is. Um, uh, we know these times are tough for many people, but please make a small donation if you can. The link will come up in the comments, uh, maybe a fiver or something, the cost of a pint and a packet of crisps that you'll be having down the pub instead of listening to me asking a load of questions. Uh, right, that's the housekeeping. That's excellent. So that's all done. Right, let's get going. And we will be stopping a couple of minutes before eight o'clock to all go out and, and clap for the carers. Right. I shall begin, everybody. Thanks for all joining. I can see you all coming in. That's brilliant. Right, here we go. Um, round one is general knowledge. Oh, very good. Okay, here we go. Monday was Star Wars Day. What is the full title of Star Wars Episode 5? So Monday was Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. <laughs> Um, what is the full title of Star Wars Episode 5? We're off and running. Cheers, everybody. That's the first question. How long do we give them? Uh, do do we put a clock on it, please? <laughs> I'm going to give them probably about 20 to 30 seconds. Okay, here we go. Question number two. What is the fastest member of the animal kingdom? I've got a little clue here. It is not a cheetah. Okay? It is not a cheetah. What is the fastest member of the animal kingdom? It is not a cheetah. Oh, look, you've got a little timer going for me as well. Look at this. This is... I know what sort of Paul Daniels must have felt like. Or <laughs> Brucey Fulshire. Oh, I'm glad I was his wife. No, there you go. Right, here we go. Done. 20 seconds. Yeah. Perfect. Um, question three. Who was the Prime Minister at the beginning of World War Two? Who was the Prime Minister at the beginning of World War Two? Tomorrow, of course, being VE Day, which will be... <laughs> Fantastic to celebrate all them boys and girls. Right, there we go. 15 seconds, couple more seconds. This is question four. What name is given to a country, a type of meat, or three consecutive strikes in bowling? So what name is given to a country, a type of meat, or three consecutive strikes in bowling. There you go. Uh, I might have got a few of these so far. Anyone else? Am I doing all right? Go, go toughers. To Tom Stringwell, lovely to see you. Steve McKenzie, nice to see you. Are there any ones there, baby? You can just have a little look. There's some good ones. Let's get through. How are we doing for the clap for Clara's? Oh, we've got 10 minutes yet. Okay. Right, here we go. Question number five. Which Disney film features the song, When You Wish Upon a Star? 
Do I know how that one goes? <laughs> when I Don't wish it. upon a star. <laughs> I don't know how that one goes, actually. So what Disney film, crucial, features the song When You Wish Upon a Star? Cheers. Oh, happy birthday to Karen. Who have we got? Happy birthday to Karen Cook for tomorrow. Have a great one. Should be beautiful. Lovely weather. But we've got to all stay inside and stay safe. We know that. But uh, have a great birthday. Okay, next question. What sort of shop... And which street did the Great Fire of London break out in 1666? So that's a couple of answers there. What sort of shop and which street did the Great Fire of London break out in 1666? Yes. Who else have we got coming in here? Kate Goulding. I missed question one. Okay, question one. Uh, Monday was Star Wars Day. What was the full title of Star Wars Episode Five? There you go, Kate. You're caught up now. Lovely. Who else have we got in here? Steve McKenzie. Sort of shot. Yes, okay. that's right. Well, okay, right. Go. Right. Right. Number seven. Number seven. Here we go. How many days did... Cool, bloody. Here you go. Oh, we've got... It's multiple choice, so don't panic. How many days does it take for the moon to orbit the Earth? Is it 27 days? No. Oh, no. That's the Is it... No, no, it's not multiple choice. Give it a oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Well, you might not have heard that. Oh, no. Not to worry. Anyway, anyway, the you question is... You should have all is, got that right. You should have all <laughs> got that right. I've given you that one just to get you in the mood. There you go. There you go. How many days does it take for the moon to orbit the Earth? Oh. Okay. Next one. Where did it go? Yep. Okay, which railway station, ra railway station, which railway station was the first one in London? Rich rail, rail, I've had too many, <laughs> I've had too many beers. Rich railway station was the first one in London. There we go. While you're having a little think about that, well done to Madeline, aged eight, who ran 75 kilometres and her sister, Amber, aged four, who ran 42 kilometres over the past three re weeks, uh, fundraising for Lily Foundation, inspired by friend Poppy, who has mitochondrial disease. Wow, that's a long way, and that is an excellent effort. Well Fantastic done. work, Madeleine well and Amber. That is brilliant. Well done. Crikey, all right. They're fit. That's good. I suppose you would be fit at eight, though, wouldn't you? <laughs> Brilliant. Very good. Right. right so, should we have the questions? Should we have the answers? Um, well, shall we wait? Well, we've got, we've got a few minutes. Well, we've got a few go. minutes before we go out and give a clap for the carers, so I'm going to whiz through the answers. Okay, question one about the Star Wars. It's The Empire Strikes Back. The Empire Strikes Back. Didn't know this one because I would have put Cheetah, but I gave you a clue. The answer is the Peregrine Falcon. Diving speed of 242 miles an hour. There you go. Ooh, good luck with that. Uh, question three, the Prime Minister beginning of World War II, Neville Chamberlain. Neville Chamberlain. <laughs> Next one, country, type of meat and consecutive strikes in bowling. Turkey. Which Disney film, Wish It Upon a Star? <laughs> Pinocchio. That is Pinocchio, isn't it? That is Pinocchio. Yeah, got it good, got it good. <laughs> uh, what sort of shop, which street did the Great Fire of London break out in? A baker's shop in Pudding Lane. Must remember hey, that. It, John? John Salarco, finally got in, John. What are you doing? You're too late. Uh, have a look on the thing and catch up with the first round. What's that? Shout out to Ian Price. Hello, Ian. Nice to see you, mate. John Salarco, mate of mine, finally got in. Come on, John. <laughs> they're, they're simple. We've got one more happy birthday. We've got another happy birthday, have we? Who Corbin. Have we Go on, love. You read them out. You can read them out as well. Go on. Come on. You can help me out. I've got lots happy of Happy birthday, Corbin. There you on go. An early happy birthday. Go on. You can read some shout outs. Right. So that's Baker's uh, Shop in Pudding Lane. Now, if you were listening, I probably gave this away. Uh, how many days does it take for the moon to orbit the Earth? 27. 27 days, 7 hours, 43 minutes, 11.6 seconds, to be exact. But I'll give you 27. There must be something to do with the 
the solar system there or something, you know, like, you know whatever. I suppose I was how many hours in the day, isn't it? Well, it's, there's more than 20. Oh, there's 24. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> there, there you go. There you go. Okay, and the first railway station, uh, which one was the first railway station in London? Good old Euston. Good old Euston. So there you go. That's the first round. So it's probably a good time to shout, do some shout-outs. Let's do some shout-outs before round two, and then we'll all go and have a clap for carers at about, what do you reckon, uh, two minutes to go out there for three or four minutes, four happy or five birthdays. minutes. We've got some happy birthdays coming in. Happy birthday to Claire Butler. Um, happy happy fiftieth, Bella. Happy birthday! Oh, there's loads of birthdays. Lovely sunny birthdays. Um, what else we got? Tuffers, please uh, wish Will happy eighteenth birthday for Tuesday. Lovely. Houston, correct. Yes, That's right. Can we ask people not to put the answers on there? Oh yes. Can you not put the answers on the um, live chat? On the live chat. Well done. Thank you very much. Who else have we got? Have we got anyone else? Um, Alex Horder, happy birthday to James. Got an Ariana. Ariana, oh, that's just, see, God, they've been whizzing. Yeah. They're whizzing in here. Happy quick. birthday, quick, quick, quick. Go on, you do it. You do it. Happy birthday to James, happy birthday to Ewan. Yes, very good. Connie Roberts, six and eight. Oh, oh, oh happy, happy birthday, Sophie. Yes. Have people not been getting them or something? Six and eight, seven and eight. No, that's their answers. And can we just give a shout out to our friends, the Hickeys? Yes, hello the Hickeys. Hello, hello, Lisa. Liam. Hello, Liam. Hope you're all well, surviving. And a shout out to the Conlons. There you go. Go on, I think you should do shout outs. No, out no, no I'm just here to do the IT. Ryan the Rhino. <laughs> shout out to the Conlons. Rhino the Rhino. Ryan the Rhino, even. Lucy Pond. We have Lily Clappers for the clap. That's yes, very good. Exactly. Annie Bloomfield. Happy birthday to Rick Bloomfield. That's lovely. Right. Okay. We've probably got a couple of... Shall, shall we? Yeah. Shall we have a comfort break and a clap for carers? We'll have, we'll have a quick comfort break and then we will come and clap for carers and we shall be back at... What do you reckon? Three minutes past? A couple of minutes past and we'll be waiting for you all to come in. Two or three minutes past and we'll be back for round two. But I, I think that was a fantastic start. <laughs> See you in a minute. Don't switch off and stay there. We only gave one answer away. Only gave one answer away. That's a good start. Listen, we'll be back in about four or five minutes after we've done the old clap. Righto. Let's go. Let's go. Jolly good. Right. We're still live. Oh, I forgot to put any trousers on. (laughs) (laughs) Only joking.
right. Can he get us another beer, though? Right, that was good. Yeah, well done, Green Lane. Everyone out there. I'm on beer duty, am I? Very good. While we're here, we've got a couple of uh, couple of shout outs uh, to Janet and Gordon in France. Uh, shall we start again now? Thought or another minute? Shout yeah. Um, in France, Harry and family in South End. Hello to Rick. Happy birthday to Sophie May, a Mito warrior who was 15 yesterday. Fantastic. Happy birthday. Big hello to Katie and Nikki Druber. Uh, thanks to Layla Addison, who raised £316 for Icky Foundation. Is that Lily? Let's spell it wrong. Lily Foundation. Lily. Yes, sorry. The Lily Foundation. Uh, in the 2.6 challenge. Well done. That was a good, uh, good, good fun, that challenge. Hello to John Salarco. John, I've said hello to you, mate. Hope you're in. Um, happy birthday to Corin Rutt, Corbin Rutt. Um, break for a clap. We've done that. Steve, McKen <laughs> Steve McKenzie, uh, who wrote the questions. Steve McKenzie is the chap who wrote the questions. Thank you, Steve. Well done. Uh, brilliant. Thank you. E excellent. Well done. We sh I think we're going to get going again. We've got some more birthdays here. And we've got we some more. Back. We've got Veronica in Northamptonshire. Happy birthday. Go on. Go on, bye. Uh, I say, can you move to the side? He likes your kitchen. This is our utility room. Yes. Well, <laughs> yes. Well, yes. My, brother's, my brother. Hi, Darren. Hello, he, Darren. He said perhaps you should move the knives out of my reach in the background. Yes, look, I we've know. got a little knife man there. I know. They're a little bit, little bit of a worry, they are. But hey, <laughs> ho. Right. We're going on the ground, too. Hopefully, everyone's back. Mmm. Excellent. Okay, here we go. Round two. Here we go. Science and nature. Here we go. Question one. Which is the most common bird in Britain? Which is the most common bird in Britain? Hmm, okay. I wouldn't have, I'm not doing so well on these, to be fair. Oh, crikey, here we go. What is the chemical symbol for gold or of gold? Of gold. What is the chemical symbol of gold? We're flying through these. Okay. Oh, I might know this one because I think I broke it when I was playing. Please don't give it away. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry. sorry, just a few little things. Um, where might you find the metatarsals? Metatarsals. Am I flying through these a little bit too quick? Have a look up there. But no, but, but you know, you either know, no, you don't. Say what you see, say what you see. Looking forward to listening to Tuffers after a few more beers. <laughs> well, yes, there you go. I'm not. I'll do a quick shout out. Uh, Alan Hall. Uh, hello to my Mito family in Abingdon. Hello, Alan. Lovely to see you. Thanks for coming along. Lovely to see you. Um, right, okay, next one. Question four. What type of creature is a dog face? <laughs> what type of creature is a dog face? Have you read that right? Yes, I have read that. <laughs> I'm sure I have. Did that say dog face? Dog it does face. say hey, dog face. Rough. Dog face. I like dog face. Right, okay. Shout out to, who's that, the nurse? Newcastle. God, shout out to Newcastle Mito nurses. They rock from Laura Jacko. Excellent stuff. Hello to Rachel and Colin in Paynton. Hello, thanks for coming along. Why not? Nothing else to do. Next one. Right, here we go. What is the distance? But oh, wow. Oh, it's don't worry, another multiple. Now that's right. I won't give the answer. On this one. <laughs> Sorry, no, you've got, you've got to be a bit cute. What is the distance between the sun? And the earth, the sun and the earth. Is it A, 10 million miles? Is it B, 52.5 million miles? Or is it C, 93 million miles? I'll give you them again. 
What? No, what? I know, but I know. No, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. What is the distance between the? She's sorry, 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 my sister is getting a bit is getting involved in it. Just because I missed up the first one. What is the distance between the sun and the earth? Is it a ten million miles? Is it B fifty two point five million miles? Or is it C ninety three million miles? There we go. It's a long way wherever it is. Okay, question number six. What Christmas decoration decoration might you find growing in an apple tree? What Christmas decoration might you find growing in an apple tree? While they're yeah. thinking of that. Hi, Angela Hodder. Hiya. Hello, I Angela. spoke earlier, um, and I want to just give a big kiss for your mito angel, Emily. Don't it breaks my heart. But you're the reason we got involved with this wonderful charity, so hiya. Okay, number seven. Within 10 bones, how many bones are there in an... Sorry. Within 10 bones, how many bones are there in a normal adult human body? There you go. Simple. How many bones you got? Within 10 bones, how many bones in a normal adult human body? Okay, next one. Timer. Thank you, Timer. Thank you. Thank you. Can you go beep, beep, beep when it's up next time? Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, what was the name of France's first space satellite launched in 1965? What was the name of France's first space satellite launched in 1965? Is it A, Tintin? Is it B, Asterix? Or is it C, Papa Smurf. <laughs> Papa Smurf. Papa Smurf. Oh, Michael, Michael Rutt. Thank you, Dawn. You're punching, Cat. <laughs> hey, hey, come on. I thought I was looking I good with the new. The I thought I was looking good with the new barn. <laughs> okay. Beep, 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 beep. Right. Okay. That's it. Questions. Uh, answers now. Answers. Okay. Most common bird in Britain. I would have said the sparrow or the blackbird or the starling, but it's the wren. The wren. Jolly good. The chemical symbol for gold, AU. AU. Where might you find uh, the metal tarsals? In the foot, of course. David Beckham, we all pushed the paper, didn't we? The didn't metal tarsal better. This is an interesting one. What creature is a dog face? What creature is a dog face? It's a butterfly. It's a butterfly. How? What an offensive that. name to call such that. a beautiful little, a little, little, little insect. Dog face. Must look like a dog, I suppose. Right, okay. The distance uh, between the sun and the earth, 93 million miles. 93 million miles. Mm. Now, you're going to have to... Oh, okay. There's, there's sort of... Now, the bones, how many bones in a, in a normal adult body? There are 206 bones. I think we'll give you a point, five either side. Go on, go on, five either side. I'm a nice quiz master. But listen to this. You've got 270 bones at birth. Well... It's because they join together. Oh, do they? Yes. What, so you you kind of lose... No, some of you are joined... Six bones join together. Oh, as you, oh really? Yes. So, then, well, anyway, 206, <laughs> but you've got 270 at birth. If you had 270, I'm giving you a point as well, because that's very clever. And uh, the uh, the name of France's first space satellite launched in 1965, of course, it was Papa Smurf. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it, wasn't. it was Asterix. Asterix was the first French um, satellite. Lovely. That's good. Just quickly, hello to Dan Farmer and Harlow Town Cricket Club. All right, lads. Hopefully you'll be out there soon. Big shout out to Arthur Angel and North Waltham crew helping uh, them support their Mito warrior, Arthur. Big shout out. Thanks for joining in. Uh, big hello to Katie Moore as well. 
uh, these are all coming in on the, on, the, on the phone. Shout out to all the NHS workers uh, who Lily Foundation work very closely with, from Freya Cook. Big shout outs, good. Have we got any more coming in? Shall we mention a few more? Should we crack on? Davis family. Davis family. Hello to Davis family. Thanks for joining us. Great to see you. Someone, oh, wants, someone wants the answer to number six. Number six answer. Oh, yes, I didn't say that. Very good. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I forgot that. What Christmas decoration might you find growing in an apple tree? Mistletoe. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> Mistletoe. Mistletoe. There you go. Right, okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, these are quite long-winded. Sport is the next round. Um, there we go. Matt Dawson would get them all right. I probably wouldn't. Okay, and they're quite long-winded, so the questions you, you need to listen to. So here we go. At the 2015 Australian Grand Prix, who became the youngest ever driver to compete in a Formula One race aged 17 years and 166 days? So at the Australian Grand Prix, who was the youngest ever driver to compete in a Formula One race, 17 years old? Good question. These beers are flying down. It's been very hot today. I've been out in the garden. I've caught a bit of sun. Get, make sure you get the old uh, cream on tomorrow. Look at my neck as well. God, where did that come from? Anyway, not the one. Number two. In football, Patrick Vieira, Richard Dunn and Duncan Ferguson share the record for the most red cards in Premier League history. But how many did they receive? Most, how many red cards did Patrick Vieira, Richard Dunn, and Big Dunton, Big Dunton, how many did they receive in their careers? It's uh, it's the most red cards. Not quite as many as you think, really, considering they played a long time. Yeah. Lovely. Who's this? Um, happy birthday to Veronica, 25 again in Northamptonshire. <laughs> I know the feeling. Uh, what else have we got? Who else have we got here? Lucy Pond. Hello, Ray. Uh, love Evie on my chat. Uh, find us some. You keep looking back. But, uh, What's that? Can you say hello to my fellow plastic scouser, Matt Dawson? That's from Martin Smith. Martin Smith. Can you say hello to my <laughs> my fellow plastic scouser, Matt Dawson? His door's playing. Oh, that's Martin Smith. Martin Smith. Okay, Thank you, Matt. Okay, next one. Here we go. Next, number three in American football. Which NFL quarterback signed with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in March after spending 20 seasons and winning six Super Bowls in, uh, with the New England Patriots? In NFL, uh, an NFL quarterback signed for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in March after spending 20 seasons and winning six Super Bowls uh, for the New England Patriots. What was his name? Can we do a donation push? Oh, sorry. <laughs> you told me to... Listen, everyone's having a great time. If you've got a couple of quid lurking around, please donate because the charities really need it at this dodgy time. Only if you can. Imagine if you were down the pub with a pint and a packet of crisps. If you could spare a couple of quid uh, for the Lily Foundation, that would be amazing. Thank you very much. Right. What are we on now? Number four. In rugby league, which team in 2020 became the first in North America, North America to compete in the Super League? Crikey. Oh, okay. Didn't know that. I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> I'm going to be brilliant when I go back to question of sport after doing all these quizzes. Dawson, I'm coming for you. In rugby league, which team in 2020 became the first in North America to compete in the Super League? Hello to the Camerons in Huddersfield. Hi. Right, here we go. Oh, God, this is a long one. Right, now listen, everyone, this is a long one. Which British athlete ended 22 with accolades including world record holder, European champion, Commonwealth champion, world cross country champion, IAAF World Athlete of the Year and BBC Sports Personality of the Year. 
So the lot, in other words. Which British athlete ended 2002 with the lot? Commonwealth, European, um, Athlete of the Year, and BBC Sports Personality. There you go. 2002. Okay, here we go. In this, in this history, in this history, in this history of the Tour de France cycling event, how many British cyclists have won the event? Oh, in brackets, an extra point if you can name them. Oh, okay. So if you can name all of them, how many have won the Tour de France? That's British cyclists. British cyclists. Sorry, British cyclists. I've just dropped his shoe. You've got my shoe. Right? <laughs> Where's my flip flop? Right? Where's it gone? Because I'm sitting on a strange chair. And it's don't it me for, I don't need it. Go on, right, so that's that. That's the Tour de France bit. Okay, number seven. Turn the page. Oh, this is a big one as well. Crikey. Listen to this. Right, here you go. Pin back your lug holes, everyone. Steffi Graf had a long and distinguished career and went out on top. Announcing her retirement shortly after winning the French Open, and French Open and reaching the Wimbledon final. She boasts the record for being the world number one for the most weeks during her career. But do you know how long she occupied the top spot for in total? Is it A, 320 weeks? Is it B, 406 weeks? Or is it C? 377 weeks. Steffi Graf, how long was she world number one for? 320, 406, 377. What's this one? Oh, lovely. Hello to the wine club girls in Chelmsford. Hello. Very good. Hope you're having a nice drop tonight and this beautiful evening. Hello to all the team CB. Sebi, S E W B Y. This is a big shout out. Shout out to Debbie, who swam the English Channel. Wow. And hi to Mito Warriors, Amber and Connor Jones. Boom. Hi. Well done for swimming the English Channel. Crikey. I bet you had to get all that grease on, didn't you? Then they get all the grease on. I believe so. Yeah, they stop you getting cold. Right. Oh, answers. Oh, no. Oh, no. One more. We've got one more. One more. Question eight. What is the UK's second favourite sport after football? Oh, don't. No, I know. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. I know. Listen, I made a mistake in the first round. Sorry, don't. I'm harboring don't, it. Don't, I'm don't, holding don't on to it. I apologise. I don't apologize. know what it is. What is the UK's favourite second sport after footy? And don't we miss that on the telly. Crikey. Can do with that coming back. Hopefully not too long now. We shall see. Right. Answers, shall we? So any more shout outs? Quickly. Please shout out to my friend Olivia. She's 21 today. Ooh. And we should have been flying to Vegas. Emily, Katie. Oh, that's a shame. Anyway, don't worry. You'll get back there. Um, hello, Sarah Povey down south from Mark Johnson. Shout out to you. Go on. Shout out to the U.S. family out from to Christy family. E. Right, question, uh, answers for the sport. I'm sure you're all on the edge of your seats. There we go. We've got two more rounds after this. Right, okay. Uh, the driver, youngest ever driver, 17 years old, Max Verstappen. Red Bull driver, I think. Max Verstappen. Uh, how many red cards did Vieira, Dunn and Ferguson receive? Eight. I think that's quite good, actually, from the boys. They've managed to keep it together for that long. They all played a long time. Um, the American football quarterback, absolute legend, used to play for the New England Patriots, Tom Brady. Tom Brady, now gone to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Didn't know this one. In rugby league in 2020, the first North American side to compete in the Super League, Toronto Wolfpack. Well done if you got that one. Um, the British athlete in 2002 won Commonwealth champion, European champion, BBC Sports Personality of the Year, Paula Ratcliffe. 
we all remember Paula, don't we? <laughs> For, um, yes, relieving herself at about mile 21, I think it was. Um, okay, and now if you get these ones, in the history of the Tour de France, how many British cyclists have won the event? Extra point if you can name them all. Okay, so it's three. Three people have won it. Geraint Thomas, Chris Froome, and Bradley Wiggins. Extra point if you can name those three. If you get two, sorry. I'm a tough, tough, it's tough. Got to get three for an extra point. Shout outs. Go on, Ed. Go on. What's this? Are there any guest quiz masters who, uh. who don't support Arsenal? <laughs> I know, sorry about that. Still support Saskia. Arsenal. For Saskia Harrison. Shout out to Paul Harrison. Uh, he's a big fan and playing from home. Well done, Paul. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming along. Alison Smith. Hi, Phil. Are you available for house parties? <laughs> Who knows? You know, I might have been to one or two. Um, <laughs> um, what else have we got? There you go. There's a few others. Tom Brady. Yes, Paul Ratcliffe. Johnny Good. Shout out to... Um, What's that say, Donna? Team Comfortably Dumb. Team com Shout out to Team Comfortably Dumb. How are you doing, Team Comfortably Dumb? <laughs> Who's that? Do we know Team Comfortably Some Dumb? friends of ours. Oh, is it? <laughs> I'm sure you're doing well. Right, okay, so that's that lot. Music lyrics. Uh, need the song and the artist. Oh, that's tough. Is that a bit tough? Bit tough. Song and the artist. You didn't write the questions. No, we didn't. Right, you need the song and the artist for a point. Sorry about that. Oh my god, I've got to now do the oh right, okay, right, this is it. Hold on. She played the fiddle in an Irish band, but she fell in love with an Englishman. Mud or man? Man. <laughs> so so we need we need the song and the artist. She played the fiddle in an Irish band, but she fell in love with an English band. Oh, see, I nearly gave that away because I just couldn't stop singing. I know, I know. I know. I'm going to I'm gonna have to ring it. Try and hold you back, yeah. Try and hold me back. Okay. Number two. You have found her. Now go and get her. You're not giving any clues <laughs> with the way you're singing this song. I'm, I'm having trouble reading it. <laughs> okay. You have found her. Now, go and get her. There you go. And then in brackets. <laughs> oh, in brackets. Let it out. Let it in. You know the answer, so why don't you try it in the style of... Well, no, because I'm trying to throw them off the scene. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be... Fox, yeah. I'm trying to be... <laughs> wild old fox. I'm a wild old fox. <laughs> Okay, number three. For 40 days and 40 nights, the law was on her side. For 40 days and 40 nights, the law was on her side. Okay, and we now have to pause because All we right. missed some answers to the previous round on questions seven and eight. I completely <laughs> forgot to give them. I'm no Sue Barker, am I? I'm terribly sorry. Right, question seven. You're right. I just completely, I had to turn the page. You see, know. it didn't say PTO at the end it's of the day. I'm sorry about that, everyone. Question seven. Uh, the answer is uh, 377 weeks. Three, seven, seven weeks she was at number one for. Absolute seven, legend. Seven. Um, and uh, the second favourite sport after football, horse racing. Obviously, to go along, you know, with over six million attendees passing through the tyre stalls at race courses around the country every year. The sport's popularity is widespread. Okay. So, sorry about that. Forgot them, seven and eight, but uh, done now. Right, I was so I was so busy. I know, I know. <laughs> right, okay. Number four, as you say, we need the song and the artist. Okay, uh, that that one there. No, I've done that one. I've done that one. Number four. I think I've done that one. Yeah, number four. There's a lady who's sure all that glitters is gold. There's a lady who's sure all that glitters is gold. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Okay, I'll give you a little second on that one. Oh, we know this one, though. Shall we, we perhaps let people have a little comfort break to go and top up their GMTs and beers and maybe? Shall we finish this round? 
we could do. We, I mean, are we rushing through it then a I little bit? we might be a little bit. Okay, then. I'm just getting into it. Sorry about that. Okay, then we'll just finish this and then we'll go for a quick comfort break, fill up the beer, fill up the GMTs and uh, and do whatever you've got to do for three or four minutes. A comfort break, yes. Chicken in the basket at the bar, yes. Taxi for Julie. Here we go. Next one. You both kicked off your shoes. Man, I can dig those rhythm and blues. You know that one, well, especially if you're my age. You both kicked off your shoes. Man, I dig those rhythm and blues. How are we doing? Any more shout outs? Can you say happy birthday uh, to Sonny Steve from Southpool, please? Thank you. Abby Jackson. Hello, Sonny Steve. Um, Max Grundy. Shout out to my family in Glossop for being entertaining through this quiz. <laughs> Max Grundy. Well done. Steve McWalter. Oh, this is way too, too fast. fast. I'll slow it down. Okay. Sorry about that, Steve McWalters. I'm cracking on too much. We'll let it breathe a little bit, shall we? Well, perhaps when you do the last couple, you could go back over this round? Yes, we will do. I'll do the last couple and go, very good idea. Very good idea. Well done. Yeah. Okay, then. Question six. By now, you should have somehow realised what you're not to do. By now, you should have somehow realised what you're not to do. I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right, have a little think of that. We'll go over these ones afterwards, if you want. Am I going too fast or is everyone all right? Shall I slow down? Can you repeat number three, please? Right, I'll repeat number three. For 40 days and 40 nights, I've lost it. There you go. The law was on her side. That that's was four. Three. That was four. That's not, no, but that's number three. Oh, that was three. three. That's that's three. We, we should go three. back. Listen, we won't go back. You Listen. have to go back. Yes, I will. I'll go over them again. Let's just get through this. That's That was number six. Number seven. If it's something weird and it don't look good. Oh, I know this. <laughs> I should hope. <laughs> who are you going to call? If it's something weird and it don't look good. Who are you going to call? And number eight, and then we'll click, we'll quickly run through them after this one because people are saying I've gone a bit fast. Apologies. Number eight, I went from zero to my own hero. I went from zero to my own. Hero. Um, anyone there, babe? Wants to, uh, anyway, it's those people there. Those people there. I mean, about know. pubs and stuff. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, not to wait. Shall I go over them quickly again? Yep, so music and lyrics. Okay, music and lyrics. Uh, need the song and the artist. First one. She played the fiddle in an Irish band, but she fell in love with an English man. That was number one. Number two. You found her. Now, go and get her. Brackets, let it out, let it in. Uh, number three, for 40 days and for 40 nights, the law was on her side. Okay. No, that was number three. Yeah, num oh, I'm having trouble yeah, with this. Yeah, you number four, number four, now this is a tricky one, unless you're, you know, back in the day. There's a lady who's sure all that glitters is gold. Number five, you both kicked off your shoes. Man, I can dig those rhythm and blues. That's enough of that. Number six, by now you should have somehow realised what you are not to do. Number seven, if it's something weird and you don't look good, who are you going to call? You know that one. If it's something weird 
But are we going to ignore the... the well, they're flying in now. No, but, no, but this is just, I don't know whether they're pub clothes warriors. Oh, is it? Oh, okay, yes. jolly good. Only interested in real people doing the quiz for the real reasons. Oh, right, well, what are they doing then? I don't know. Oh, okay. So we'll ignore them. them. We'll ignore them. Uh, and then number eight, I went from zero to my own hero. Comfort break, five minutes, and then we got the last round. Is that all right with everyone? Well, I need to go. Well, where's anybody? So it's gone. <laughs> TMI. Right. See you in about two minutes. Three minutes. <clears throat> There we go. We're back. I hope everyone's back. Nice kitchen, Phil. Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill thinks our kitchen's all right, though. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Shout out from the grave. Right, okay. There we go. Just remind everyone why we're here. Yes, why we're here, of course. Lily Foundation. Um, you know, during these troubled times, very difficult for them to run, uh, raise funds and, and everything. Um, if you can, you know, if you can, got a couple of quid knocking about, please donate. Um, it will really mean a lot. So uh, the price of a pint and a packet of crisps. There you go. That'll do. That'll do. And of course, if or, or a Ferrari. You know, why not? If, if you can afford a Ferrari to give them a Ferrari, give them a Ferrari. That'd be even better. Right, do you reckon everyone's back? Yeah. I think we've got real people back now rather than the silly trolls that was doing whatever what, they were doing. What were they? What I were don't know. They were just silly. But anyway, we're here for a good reason, so shall we crack on? Yes. Are going to read back over those? No, no, no. We're going on to the last round now, which is TV game I shows. We give the answers. Oh, no, we haven't. No. Well done. <laughs> Good just job, I'm in. Just as well, I've got my able assistant next door to me. Right. Okay, excuse me. Uh, answer number one. 
Go away, girl, Ed Sheeran. Answer number two. Hey Jude, the Beatles. Answer number three. Billy Jean. Who's that? Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson. Joking. Only joking. Michael Jackson. Do you want to actually sing it out so people, you know, no, 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 never enough of that. But they'll be, much, they'll be turning off in their <laughs> uh, Number four, Stairway to Heaven, Led Zeppelin. Number five, American Pie, Don McLean. Number six, a Wonder Wall, Oasis. Number seven, Ghostbusters, Ray Parker Jr. And number eight, Raw, Katy Perry. There you go. Okay, last round. Edge of your seat stuff. TV game shows. Question one. Which quiz has a catchphrase of I'd like a pee, please, Bob. Which quiz has the catchphrase of I'd like a pee, please, Bob? Have we got that? I've got that. Oh, there you go. Fernhill, who flyers? Top job, Phil and Mrs. Phil. <laughs> <laughs> well, well done. Thank you, Fernhill, he flyers. There you go. Uh, shout out to Max. Where's Max? Max, Wait, shout out to Max, my toe warrior. Off to bed. Hello, Max. Big shout out to Max. Oh, and he's a gooner. Good lad. <laughs> Good boy. Well done. Right. Uh, number two. Name the three hosts of Blankety Blank. One point for each. Name the three hosts of Blankety Blank. A point for each of them. Is it a point for each or do they need to get all three? No, a point for each. Let them have a point for each. <laughs> Okay. Shout out to Lily uh, and Willow, inspiration for Team Willow. Michael Bamba, Michelle Bamba, sorry. No. Okay. Uh, Lilo, yes. Yes. Hello to the Lily ladies. Hello to the Lily ladies. Hello, everyone. Uh, jolly good, staying up. To pay our little mito warrior, Ninja Steve, oh. Oliver Hardwell. Um, right, next one. Number three. Which popular duo hosted Friends Like These? Which popular duo oh, I'll be back. Um, hosted Friends Like These? There you go. Which popular duo hosted Friends Like These? Sorry, I'm sorry if I'm rushing along a little bit, but I've got the answers in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going, oh, oh yeah, oh, of course it's them. Oh, yes, I know. Do you want to read those ones just over them? Just give people no, a not yet. to catch up? Um, okay, if I'm going too fast, I will do it if you want. Number one, which catchphrase, uh, which quiz had a catchphrase of, I'd like a pee, please, Bob? Might confuse people now, though. Well, Number two, you. name the three hosts of Blankety Blank, point for each. Number three, which popular duo hosted Friends Like These? I'll give you a little bit of time now. I'll put you on the clock. Can I have the clock, please? Let's have a look at the school. Beep, 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 beep. Right, okay. Number four. What was the booby prize on 321? Oh, I know this. <laughs> what was the booby prize? And I did that really well first time. What was the booby prize on 321? Back in the day. Who was his name? What was his um, name? Ted, was it Ted, Ted Rogers? Ted Rogers, yes. Give you a bit of time, even though you'll know that. Booby prize on 321, I know. 
Happy with that. Shout out to the Goodwins. Uh, shout out to the Goodwins, please, Phil, from Toby Arnott. Hello, the Goodwins. Don't worry about them, people. Um, correct, correct. Steve McKenzie. Number no, no, that's uh, Steve McKenzie's. Number four. Now he's reading right. out the questions. Oh, okay, lovely. So you're good to go. Good to go. Excellent. Number five. Which BBC quiz show started in 2014 was hosted by Mark Williams, famous for playing Arthur Weasley in the Harry Potter film series? Which BBC quiz started in 2014 was hosted by Mark Williams, famous for playing Arthur Weasley in the Harry Potter film series? Which number was that question? That was number five. <sighs> Do we get a two? Do they get a trophy or anything? <laughs> Tom Stringwell wants to know where your right flip flop is. Did you I don't know. It? It's, it's been it eaten by the floor. floor. I found it. I oh, found well it. Done. Done. Uh, we've got it. Well done. Okay, Tom is back. We've yeah, got it. There you, you go. put that on. Ooh, a bit whiffy. Yeah. So okay, I've let's had, move on. It for a long time. <laughs> right, okay, so that was number five. Number six is. Which TV game show has been hosted by Chris Tarrant and Jeremy Clarkson? Oh, I know this. Well, well. I won't say. Well, no, I mean, it's quite, don't let the cat out of the bag on that one. Oh, that's a tricky I one. You know, crikey, all right. I was on that. I was on that. 63 grand I got with, uh, oh, God. <laughs> no, yeah, sorry. Everyone knows that. With uh, Joe Pasquale, yeah. I was on that. So there you go. Chris Tarrant, Jeremy Clarkson. It's quite difficult. You want to tell people. I know you do. You love to share, bless you. <laughs> bless you. It's, it's all done with a good heart. It is. <laughs> Number seven. Who are the two team captains on Have I Got News For You? Two team captains on Have I Got News For You? Seven. That's question number seven. Thank you. Number seven. There we go. Bit of time. Last one coming up, everyone. Thank you so much for joining the Lily Foundation pub quiz. Thanks for everyone for giving up their time and making donations. Just to remind you again, all donations, brilliant. Needed at this time. I know it's troubled times, but um, everything gratefully accepted. Anything you can. Uh, right, question eight. And the last... Question of the quiz. I might donate a prize. Uh, oh, oh, there you go. What, what, oh, we got, what have we got in the garage? Have I got an old oh. shirt or something? An old English might shirt. Might be a little bit mouldy after all this Ooh, time. Might be a bit whiffy. Maybe your dancing shoes? My from dancing Strictly? from Strictly? Oh, okay. I will sort out a prize for whoever wins it. Put it that way. There will be something winging its way to you. Number eight and final question. Who was the original host? Ah, oh, there you go. Number eight. Who was the original host of A Question of Sport, which aired on the 5th of January, 1970? Wow. 50-odd years ago. Wow, it's been going a long time. What a great show that is. Lovely, lovely to see you, Sue. Lovely to, lovely to see you, Doris. If would you have here. got the answer right? Do you yes, think? I would have you done. Would, yes, you know. of course I would have done. I know my question is for history. <laughs> I know my history very well. Yes, I've done my time. Right, who was the original the original host, by the way? Of a question as well. well excuse me. Uh, Helen Ray has asked, can you donate your hair dye? Yeah, I don't dye my <laughs> That's hair. Natural. I don't dye my hair. <laughs> Don't, don't, don't. I'm loving your sarcasm, though, Helen. Oh, That's the sort of thing I'd say. That's not done. <laughs> nice little grey flex there. Yes. Anyway, back to business. Yes, there you go. Okay, here we go. The answer for the first one, can I have a P, please, Bob? Of course, is Blockbusters. Blockbusters. Uh, name the three hosts number of... Number two. Number two. Can you read out the... Number two, name the three hosts of Blankety Blank, a point for each, a point for each, Terry Wogan, Les Dawson, and Lily Savage. Yeah. Jolly good. 
There you go. Anyone else? Right. Okay, number three. Which popular duo hosted Friends Like These? Anton Dick. Anton Dick. I, like I didn't it. know that. Did yeah, you? no, no, I, I don't that even know. That was a terrible right. Geordie accent. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Well, terrible. Yeah, it was indeed. Anton Dick for number three. Um, what was the booby prize on 321? Number four. Dusty Bin. That's number four. So the booby prize was Dusty Bin. Uh, didn't know this one either. Which BBC number, number five? five <laughs> <laughs> which BBC <laughs> quiz show started in 2014 was hosted by Mark Williams, famous for playing Arthur Weasley in the Harry Potter film series, The Link. Never heard of it. Me neither. The Link. Number six. Well done. Yes. The, uh, which uh, game show host, uh, TV, game, game. TV game show was hosted by Chris Tarrant and Jeremy Clarkson? Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I saw that. Well, that was funny. On the old, what's it called? The, the quiz. quiz. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah. Uh, right. Uh, who are the two Number team captains? Number seven. <laughs> who were the two team captains on Have I Got News For You? Paul Merton and Ian Hislop. Number eight. Okay. Good. Are we going to a couple of more? No, no, we just if you blow a kiss to J Mess, they'll donate five pounds. Blow a kiss to J Mess. They're gonna donate five pounds. Thank you very much for your donation. Thank you very much, J Mess. Brilliant. Thank you so much. And the last question, and I bet a few of you put David Coleman, which is wrong. It was David Vine. From C uh, Ski Sunday fame, David Vine was the first. David Vine, David Coleman took over after presenting uh, presenting five series. David retired in 1997, was replaced by Sue Barker. Love you, Sue, if you're there. Um, yes, yeah, so it was David Vine. Okay, do you want to just do a recap of those answers? Can do if you want. So and then we'll announce last week's winners. Number one, Blockbusters. Number two, Terry Wogan, Les Dawson, Lily Savage. Number three, Anton Dick. Number four, Dusty Bin. Number five, The Link. Number six, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Number seven, Paul Merton and Ian Hislop. And number eight, David Vine. Okay. What's this? Last week's witness. If you last week, ask. okay, please remember. Uh, last week's well, oh, I shouldn't say that. Yes, uh, terrible at all this. All, the, all this tech is beyond me. Right, okay. Last week's winners were Quizzy Pops with forty-eight out of forty-eight. You tell the truth. You've got everyone right, but if you have, very good. Um, go on. Uh, subscribe to the Lily Foundation YouTube channel to hear of upcoming events, including next week's quiz with Dominic Holland. Uh, comedian, I'm sure he'll be uh, better than I was, but it was my first go. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, as you say, if you can make a contribution uh, to the Lily Foundation, they're great people doing some great things, and uh, in these troubled times, it would be very, very much appreciated. Um, hello to Warriors Rachel and Mito Jojo, Warriors. Well, Mito Warriors Rachel and Jojo Wells. Hello, Rachel and Jojo. Um, hello to Team Tizzy. Hello. Um, I think that's us about done. No. We've got some scores. Oh, we've got some in. more. Oh, we've got some scores no, coming in. Scores do we stay in. on, or what do we do? Forty-eight out of forty-eight that's last week was leave. That is unbelievable. Thanks, Tuffers. Good on you. Thank you, Uber Uber Toaster ninety-nine. <laughs> whatever that means. Team Blue Jay's got twenty-eight out of forty. Oh, Martin Smith. Team Blue Jay, twenty-eight out of forty. That's very good. 50, uh, 50, 50 28 seems a good score. Me and Mum got twenty-four. Mark Elwood, well done. Can I just say hi to Simon Virgo? Oi! That's no, what he said. He's very nice. Dawn's fantastic. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right, steady, steady on, steady on. Uh, oh, thirty-nine. Stuart Ware, thirty-nine. Um, that's a good score. Emma Wilson, 26 out of 47. 26, 27 seems pretty good. Uh, 31, Mark Newell. 31 for the New Uh Very, very good. Thanks, Phil, and his assistant. Well done, Dawn. 
Take a bow. Freya from uh, hello to Marion Livingston in Middlesbrough. Auntie to Mito, Warrior Laura. Hi. Uh, what else have we got? Freya's Quickly. Bristol Crew. Freya's Bristol Crew. 32 out of 40. Very good. Oh, 39, is that? Yeah. Cara Holton. Wow. Cara I, I would like to know what team Comfortably Dumb got. Uh, they will, they That's will. not coming in, is it? No. I, I might get a WhatsApp for that. I reckon they've all gone to the Thank white, you, everybody, though. To Thank you. Place. Yeah. Okay, listen. Okay, lovely to see you all. Um, we all know what we've got to do. We've got to stay in and stay safe um, and uh, have a lovely weekend. But uh, keep your heads down. And uh, thanks for all the carers for looking after us so well. The NHS, brilliant stuff. And um, love you all. Take care. And uh, see you soon. Let's do it again sometime. And oh, one more time. just say a little... Uh... Jason Warner. We've got 35. Say hello to... Jandy Phil. Jandy Phil. Right. Okay, we've got to go. Love you all. John Salako. John and Michelle got 22. 22. Well done, John. Is that average? Maybe slightly under, but well done, everyone, for joining in. See you later. Well done, Phil. Thank you, Lily Foundation. Thank you all. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. Stay safe. Well, what do we do now? We end the stream. Bye, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Happy VE Day tomorrow as well. Yes, happy VE Day.